Hi there everyone, Cromat here with iSky Self Video Editor for Macintosh. Today we're going to be looking at how to edit the audio track of a piece of video using Video Editor for Mac. So I'm going to open my recent Swimming with Jellyfish project that uh, I've been looking over in the last two lessons. Just bump that into full screen and zoom to fit. So quite simply, in order to do this we can uh, right click or control click on our video footage and click detach audio. That's going to detach the audio and put it to a new audio track. One of the reasons we might want to do this is if we have pre-existing video, uh, pre-existing audio that's going alongside our video tracks. We can then use this feature if we want to move it to resync it by dragging it backwards and forwards or deleting it. Um, I'll show you a couple more things we can do. If you double click it will go to the audio inspector where we can do things like change the pitch which is going to alter that. Uh, we can fade in and fade out the audio which is very useful for a transition there and we can increase, decrease the volume or decrease and increase the speed. As you see here the uh, amount of time it takes up in the, in the uh, timeline here increases and decreases inversely as we increase and decrease the speed. So I'll delete that for now. In this case what I'm just going to do here is double click, click audio and let's just bring the volume down to zero and once more here. I can also then do a number of things with the audio still connected to the video here like a fade in and a fade out, but in this case I'm just going to mute everything. So that's been a brief guide on how to edit your audio tracks separately and in conjunction with your video tracks using iSkySoft Video Editor for Macintosh. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions please go ahead and ask in the comments where I'll get back to you. I've been Comrade and I'll speak to you next time. Why are you